subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Right guys, it's Monday morning. We're up in Inverness. Um, it's our first appearance since this big guy, one of the world's strongest man. So the wonderful people at MKM Building Supplies in Inverness. It's their opening day here. They've asked us to come along, do some meet and greets, do some photos. They promised us a free breakfast. Yes, sir. They don't know what they're getting themselves in for, <laughs> baby. So we've been promised there's uh, a total of 20 fried eggs and I think six bits of toast and some bacon and sausages on the way as we Let's speak. See if they've got it right, you know. This is something we've got to do now. You know, it's part of the, the job and the work that we have to kind of involve ourselves in, which is amazing. We're keeping it local as well. So really proud. And as we say, this is the first day they've opened MKM. So after a year and a half of the pandemic, it's nice to see businesses still doing well, still opening. And we're extremely happy to be here. And on a side note, we're actually going to sign some t-shirts and MKM are going to do a, a raffle or a giveaway. So we'll give you some details there later on on how to kind of join the raffle, how to win the t-shirts. So stay tuned for that. We conquered all of Europe. You're always here as now. Right guys, so we've got a special direct uh, right guys. <laughs> right, ready. right guys. Stop it. Stop it. We have got right guys, right, we've guys. Got a special request. Special. MKM building supplies directors want to go on our spicy shoulders. Can we lift him? Can we not? Who knows? I've got the lighter one, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, but I'm used to like big weights above my head, so I should be all right. Because your head's that big. Yeah. That's a big weight. So let's do it. I've got the strongest shoulders in the world. I'm the strongest head, strongest knees, legs, shoulders, elbows, everything. So Mr. 195 log face and world's strongest man. Mr. World's strongest man. <laughs> 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 Normally we pick up with the pick up dumbbells. Like a one arm dumbbell is 110 kilos, so that must be about. 18, 18 stone, 17 and a half, 18 stone, something like that, one arm. Quite comfortable then. Uh, aye. Aye. Well, Tom will be all right for you. That's why he's the strongest well, man. Put it on his shoulders. Which, where are you wanting the... Well, here, Graham's now sort of... Aye, I'll do it. You don't well, want to be left out, do you? Well, I'm <laughs> two, so I just put it on our shoulders. No, we'll do one each, shall we? So you'll... I will... I'll, I do I'll, I'll pick you up, and then That's Tom. Put on the shoulders. Yeah, right? on the shoulders, aye. I'm just trying to think which. Are you wanting them in the inside shoulder or outside? Outside. If you just kind of try to sit yeah, me, sit on my come for yeah. one, two, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, good. Hey, we just catch, catch in there. Right, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Sweet one, sure. <laughs> Eight and a half stone, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Shoot, shoot. Oh, Tom, don't touch it. Right. Was... So this is a nice little feature here at MKM Building Supplies. I made this. Tom made this um, in the last 10 minutes. Very easily, very quick to put together. We've got the AstroTurf. We've got the, the steps, the wooden steps. I quite like this feature, actually. This is something I might have in the garden. Like an entrance into the next garden. Is that a giant's live entrance? All you need is smoke and you go... Representing Scotland, the world's strongest man, Tom, the albatross Stoltman. And his brother. And here we have, standing seven foot five tall, uh, Tom, the albatross Stoltman, weighing 1,000 kilos. You forgot, the world's strongest man. Right, so I got a wee man, Gordon, who came up to see us, and uh, look at this. Tom Stoltman, first place. What a drawing that is. Right guys, we are now in the building. Finally, we've got our eggs. Tom can't speak because he's so hungry. I think Tom's had 10 eggs already. But the kind folks have got us 10 eggs, 10 eggs, three bits of toast, and uh, a child size portion of orange juice. So many thanks guys. So we're gonna get stuck in. Happy Tom? Yep, happy. Good chat. Let's do this. Good chat, good. 
end term, not only do they do building supplies, but they do these showers, toilets, bathrooms, kitchens, everything. As we mentioned, we've got two t-shirts, World's Strongest Man t-shirts that Tom and I both wore. Um, they are now both signed. And they're stinky. <laughs> they haven't been washed, so they're almost as smelly as me. But these are available um, to win. So if you go onto the MKM building uh, supply page, Inverness branch, um, there'll be some details there. We'll kind of link you uh, down below. So your chance to win two official World's Strongest Man t-shirts. Enter it now. That's our morning of work done. Um, thank you very much to the guys at MKM for inviting us down here. And there's a few people that came, thank you to all the guys that came, got their photos taken. Um, supporting local businesses like this, you know, it's, it does mean, mean a, a big deal to us, I think. Yes, sir. What are we up to now, Tom? We're going to go back. We've got some spicy surprises for you guys later on. But yeah, most importantly, we're going to go back. We're going to train. We're going to get ready for Royal Albert Hall. We're going to keep spicy. We're going to be, be, keep being great. We are back from the MKM Inverness. <laughs> Our appearance was great. The sun is shining. We are now doing pressing sessions. How does this week's uh, training compare to last week? Um, everything's just increasing, so up kind of 10, 20 kilos on what we were lifting last week. And yeah, that's it, just getting prepped for the comp. It's nice to have Tommy back training with us. There, mate. <laughs> Just my tendons for me. You know what that is? It's old age. I'm afraid, boys and girls, that's my training done. We've got physio tomorrow, so that's a, a boost. Hopefully Ross can work his magic. But, yeah, there's no point for me doing any more pressing or any stuff that's... Um, it's it's f***ing sore. I'm even taking the plates off the bar is nippy at the moment, so... So sometimes you got to kind of, like, think of the long game. So my long-term goal is to win World's Strongest Man. If my tendons or, or if my bicep tendons giving me grief when I'm trying to do the arcs all clean, then yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of make a call, make a judgment call. But at the moment, it's pretty nippy. Um, I'm hoping, um, yeah, hopefully Ross can kind of work on it tomorrow and kind of strip it down. This one, it's, it's weird because normally it's my right one that gets it, but it's switched to my left, which is a bit strange. Um, just one of those things. It's. Not a big deal, nothing torn, nothing um, broken or anything, it's just a bit of inflammation, so need to uh, maybe get some ice on it, do some hot and cold, and all will be good again. How did your overhead press go, mate? Uh, it went nae bad, do you know what I mean, guys? Yeah, it went good. Uh, I had it all beltless, so 140 we did first just to get the feel for it, then two sets of 160, no belt, so trying to keep that core kind of nice and tight. Nice and stable, not relying on a belt to do it, so felt nice and nice and routine. As Luke said, he's 
been a rest. The most important thing is resting. You can't push through injuries like that. It's stupid and silly. So doing the right thing. I done a lot of that. I done a lot of skipping sessions in my run up to our strongest man. So you can do that. Um, now we're going on to incline uh, bench press with the axle bar. This is three sets of five. Again, nothing super heavy. Maybe 120, uh, 130. But we're not doing anything stupid. We're just going to get the work done and live to fight another day. See you in the bottom. You got mix at half three. Yeah, so again as well, I'm not going heavy because one, I don't have a spotter, and two, <laughs> me being clumsy, I probably end up killing myself. So let's just stay. Yeah, let's go 120, so 225. Do you think that world's strongest man has made you more confident, Tom? Um, yeah, yeah, it's made me a bit more confident. I've, you know, believe in myself, and the thing with world's strongest man as well, for me, um, that last year I made a mistake. And I came second and I knew that I was the strongest there. And that's what I said in my prep all the way up to it was, I'm the best in the world at every event I was doing. And also working with Amy, obviously, my mindset now changed to I'm the best in the world. You know, obviously, the looks said as well, I'm gonna be going to Heavy Giants live show probably this year, but I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> perform in them all. Like, I mean, there's gonna be like nine, eight or nine, I think, and uh, with, with the kind of Arnold UK plus Rogue invitation, and I'm, you know, going to be there, but I've picked the two or three that I want to do good in. And obviously next year, World Strongest Man is my goal again. So, you know, I'll be at Royal Albert Hall. Uh, my body will turn up, my brain might not turn up, you know. So, but I'm going to go down and meet the guys. You know, I, we've not had fans at an event at Giants or no Strongman event for like near enough two years. So it'll be nice to get back in there, put a nice show on and have some fun, you know. The thing with me, this, these comps now is there's no pressure on me, you know, like, I went out to Worlds and performed and did what I have to do. The other kind of athletes that didn't do as well at Worlds Strongest Man, you know, they've got the one, they've got the pressure on themselves because, you know, they're the ones that need to kind of back up now and, you know, come out and perform with me. I can just have a relaxed time, you know, maybe do an event, go to the pub afterwards and stuff. But nah, <laughs> and all jokes aside, I'm going to be there, going to have some fun. And that's what I'm doing now in training is just, you know, since I've been back from Worlds Strongest Man, I've been having fun. I'm still training hard, but my training's not like, right, I'm not gonna, if I miss a session, I don't care, I'm not going like, right, I have to be in the gym at this time. You know, Sinead doesn't come set anymore, family to now, it's first to them, then gym second, so that's how my life is right now. I'm traveling a lot, and the gym right now is coming second, until I decide otherwise. So when I'm switched on and ready to, you know, train for the title I want, I'll switch on and, you know, be there. Do you think you'll have a pressure for yourself this year for World Strongest Man? Uh, I mean, are you, are you wanting the title again? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I want it. I want the title again, obviously, you know. But um, I think for me, winning it, it's the same with like Scotland. I know it's not the same level, but when I won it once, I think winning it the first time is the hardest time. I won Scotland once and then I won it again. Uh, obviously, there's the different levels and stuff. But you know, next year as well, you know, I'm shouting out here. I want to have the bet. I want like Martins to be back. I want Kilakoski to be back, and I want to go up against them and you know, still win and then, you know, that's, then just prove that I like, I can win it again and you know, it's not just a fluke, but yeah, I want to go back. I 100% want to get into the final. That's always the main goal is going to World Strongest Man. The first step at World Strongest Man is getting to that final. Once you get to that final, then you look on to the, the podium in first place. And that's what I did this year was, there's two steps to World Strongest Man. Finals, winning it. You know, if you look at it, if you just go, if you just say about World Strongest Man, if you just go that I'm going to win, yeah, that's fine. Everyone can say they win, but they still have to get past the hardest part, which for me is the qualifier. Qualifying by far is the hardest kind of part. You know, there's five guys in your group. You come last in an event, you're basically done. You know, that's the kind of difference. So yeah, the champ's here and the champ wants to stay here. So. Guys, incline done, nice and easy. Now we're moving on to the accessory work. What do you think of uh, Luke's message from your video, mate? That was cute. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I expect I went on it and 
I seen him sitting on a rock on the beach and I was like, oh, he's talking about me. Yeah, I might do a message again for him soon, but yeah, it was cute. Thank you, big brother. Love you. Hope your injury heals up soon. What was it like training without him just now? There's no gurniness or gruntiness. It feels weird, it's too quiet for me, you know? <laughs> I'm not, I can't annoy him anymore. Well, my training was done after push press. Um, I'm gonna have some rest, do some hot and cold, go for a little swim later on, stay positive, do some infrared on it, do what I can do to make my arm a little bit better and able to kind of press and so forth. So that was it. How was your session? Good, I missed you. Oh. Missed your grunting and your groaning. And farting. And annoying, and me annoying you. But yeah, it was good. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Again, a few niggles and stuff, but we're just ticking over to the competition. I think there's like two more sessions and then done. I'm traveling too much to be doing any more than two sessions anyway. Where are you going this weekend? I'm going, can I tell you guys that actually? I'm going somewhere where it starts with I and ends in X. I and X. X. Anyway, oh, one more thing quickly, one more thing as well. Coming soon, we have now finalized our limited edition Tom Stoltman, world's strongest man, the strongest man in the world t-shirt, so the new design is going to be released soon we've just sent away to the manufacturers, so this is going to be a limited edition stock so once it's out it's not coming back out once it's gone, it's gone once it's gone, it's gone stay safe, smile and stay spicy and don't forget to ring that little bell I'm attending! Ah! Ding 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 ding! Ah!